Gran Turismo 7, which is your favorite of grinding for money? Let's see, or credits, not money. So right now, my most favorite ones to grind for credits is going to be Europe, 24 Hour Le Mans, and the PP 730 minutes. Um, it is a little difficult to run, but as long as you got a pretty good car running 700 PP, which is gonna be this guy right here for me, of course I have um, nitrous turned on. So you turn that off, and you can probably run the whole thing without stopping. But I would suggest at least pitting on lap three. My secondary, I haven't really messed with this one too much, but it is 400,000. If you hit one car or one wall, you're done. Uh, secondary is gonna be Sardinga. And I do love to race this one here. About 25, 30 minutes race for 725,000. If you're feeling really tough and crazy, go ahead and do the 175, which is no limits on the Red Bull cars. Them things are crazy. Uh, another grinder that I like to see is going to be the right here, PP500 or 600. Um, this one's really fun. If you grab a car, I call the 600 Tokyo and I use comfort hards and I grind those walls. It takes about 25 minutes to complete. Just make sure you don't hit the, this corner here or a car on your first lap. In fact, don't hit any cars, but do not especially hit this guy right there. All right, another grinder is going to be, let me see, I have Tokyo, Sardinga, and the Mons. Um, those are pretty much the most that I would see grinding. And then you have your others paying you 165,000. I haven't done this one because it's really hard. This one's not too hard to do. Just, just make sure you uh, get a good car. Use the Corvette or the Viper. Uh, Suzuka track, I believe. This one's really fun. It's 168,000 credit payout divided by two, which is at uh, 80, so 816, 240,000 in credits. Or you can go all out and do the uh, the two tough ones right here, 170, 175,000 for about 300,000 credits or 275 credits. Uh, my math is not very good, but. Um, there's ways to make money. Your big ones are, of course, going to be your Tokyo, Sardinga, and Le Mans. All the others do not make you very much money. It's about 160 to 300,000 in credit, which, like I said, is not a bad thing. But if you're trying to grind for money, get all 496 cars, it's going to take you some time. If you grind the Le Mans once a day, so let's say you do Le Mans twice. That's uh, 1.6 million credits in about 30, I mean about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Or if you do the uh, Sardanga, it's also gonna be about an hour uh, for about 700, or 1.4 million in credits. Um, the problem with doing the smaller circuits is if you try to go and buy all your cars, you are gonna play this game for about 700 hours. Okay, because I have 497 vehicles. I think there's almost 500 cars. Um, each group one is a million in credit. Where's that right here? Category. So each group one is, 20, is a million, so that's 22 million credits. Group two cars can be between 700,000 or 400. Yeah, about five to seven. So let's just round it up to a million because you are going to modify it so you already got 33 cars that's 33 million that's 33 hours okay if you only get a million per hour and then your group one there's 51 of those cars you're going to be playing this thing they're 350 000 or 450 000, and then you got to put a little bit of money to modify them so half a million credits that's almost 50 hours and that's all on the mods and then you have your group four and then your group b and then your regular uh, the reason why I do the whole Daytona grind is for the fact that I just don't have that much time in my day to spend 10 hours a day grinding and or racing the game. I have a full-time career. So yeah, I do the Daytona and I do the custom race right here. I have that. I call it the money maker. Boom. Uh, money, money mode. I load it. And I change my car to the uh, uh, Arbarth or the Honda Beat, and you just let it play. So, 
these are the ones that I use, guys. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Have a good day.